Alchemy, we focus on letting employees automate manual tasks in their workflow. Uh, we call that self-automation. Now, for many of you, when you think about the most common workflow in financial services, it may in fact be copy-paste. Employees receive a document, an email, they use their human comprehension to pick out data points that are then moved into the next part of the business process. And you know, this is incredibly inefficient. It is uh, a slowing down almost every business process. And frankly, it's a waste of a lot of smart people that could be spending their time not doing these repetitive tasks. When automation comes to this business process, this manual conveyor belt of data can be turned into something much more valuable and can make a huge difference for the entire industry. So our mission is self-automation for employees so they can focus on things that matter. And these repetitive tasks is what, is what we're after. And to do that, we put a team together here in New York uh, with industry experience, folks from Bloomberg, uh, with, from X.AI, uh, Two Sigma, uh, and really for us, the mission has been to understand how can we bring this next level of cognitive automation to all of the tasks that are happening in firms on the sell side, the buy side, uh, and in the broader enterprise. Now, one of the first things you have to do in order to understand how you can automate these tasks is to think a little bit about how people create documents. We create them so they're easy for other humans to read, but as a result, have made them very difficult for computers to understand. This formatting, creating out tables, call out boxes, lots of formatting, unfortunately has meant that oftentimes you have humans involved in actually deducing what's going on in all of this data. Even worse, oftentimes you have databases for clients that might generate PDF reports that are then sent and humans are sitting in the middle curating those same uh, data points back into a database on the other side, incredibly inefficient. So one of our insights has been to treat this uh, with computer vision. Similar models that you would apply to self-driving cars, navigating the way around traffic by placing bounding boxes uh, over different objects. We do the same thing as a first step to understand the layout of documents. What's a table? What's a paragraph? Uh, what matters in this document? Now we think of this as a process of understanding a document in this pattern you can think of as detect and select. So first of all, we have a bunch of things that we can detect, the format, dates, different types of table structures, and we do that for all documents. Now, for every one of your employees, they have a little bit of business logic that they have inside of their mind. They know what the five, 10 data points are that they need to extract out to move the business process forward. And we let them in our platform express this business logic. We train up a model on the fly, and in that way, you now transferred the bit of business logic that the analyst had into our model to automate the task. Think of this as imitating the task the user is doing in order to automate the process. How does this look like in the production systems we're deploying? Well, it means that we run our detection and selection models, and then the data comes out with probabilities. Any lower probability data can be routed to a human, also known as a human feedback loop, and our models are constantly learning. So that means that if you have 500 funds that you've automated and the next fund comes along, Maybe initially you want humans to look at that data to make sure that the predictions and the models are correct. And once you've annotated, you've corrected it, that becomes automated to a much higher degree. So it's this blend of machine learning and the human comprehension that can bring 80, 90% automation to a lot of these tasks that are weighing down and that are slowing down all of your businesses. We focus a lot on the audit trail to give you complete visibility into where is the data coming from so that you can click on a piece of data and see exactly where in the unstructured data that, that prediction was made. And we give you all the data. There's nothing that we want to hold on to. And in fact, the self-automation means we don't even have to see your data. You can automate your own tasks without us being in the loop. So let's look at a use case. What does this mean uh, when we talk about machine learning to provide document understanding or document automation. Here's a global asset manager, and they describe it as operational alpha. How can they move faster? How can they get the data faster? How can they get more, a deeper depth of data, for example, for exposure data? And how can they bring down the operational cost? So every time they acquire uh, more AUM, they don't have to uh, keep adding extra staff in the back office. And the ROI numbers prove the case. Uh, the data depth when they make in, uh, investment decisions, because you don't have to have humans curate out each of these data points into a database, but you can have our models do it, is much deeper. Uh, and in fact, 85% of their investment operations task 
uh, have become automated. So, you know, of course, fewer errors as well. So there's a very strong business case for bringing this kind of automation, but it really, at the end of the day, is about the data. If you can get the data in real time, if you can get more of the data, you're making better decisions and your business is moving faster. You're onboarding clients faster uh, and uh, you end up winning. We can take in a flow of emails, documents. We've connected to common uh, content management systems like Box. Uh, so you can feed us the data that you have and it can be deployed at your site or you can run it in the cloud with us. So a couple of common use cases that may kind of uh, tickle your appetite, uh, transforming data in illiquid markets, anything with alternatives, asset management, wealth management, and in banking, a lot of regulatory headaches, particularly around things like LIBOR that's coming to an end of life that we've started working with a lot of larger banks on. So hopefully uh, this has given you a sense of some of the opportunities uh, that exist in every one of your firms, financial services and insurance, and certainly beyond, there is this automation opportunity uh, and we would love to show you what it looks like. So uh, please be in touch. Uh, we're right here in New York for any of you that are local uh, and look forward to tell you more. Thank you very much.